नमस्कार आई एम लीना एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मराठी एंड मलयाली joining us for our brooks visit in belgium last time today let me take you to brussels the capital of belgium our journey started at around 10 o'clock from brooks then for around 2 hours we drove along the city luckily while we were on the bus iru got marathi tai she was really happy to talk to her in marathi I was glad to sit with Didi and enjoy the view of city while we drove from Brooks to Brussels. Brussels is the largest city of Belgium. It is a major European tourist and cultural attraction. If you are considering a budget trip, then March, May and September October is the best time to visit Brussels. You can enjoy at least 10 hours of daylight and check out the city and its tourist spots. If you don't mind the crowd, you can see Brussels in total beauty with Christmas decor. You will be surprised to know that Belgium is a small country in Europe and it is smaller than Indian state of Haryana. It has a population of little over 1 crore. about half the population of haryana we experienced light showers as we got down in brussels we walked about for 2 kilometers and then we reached at the city area ikade ikade ayru ikade french fries tikade mok tada challe gela Since it was raining and we were hungry, we thought of enjoying Belgian fries. So we entered this pretty tiny outlet. There she met this Turkish auntie, and she was really glad to eat hot French fries. In Belgium, we get this special Andalus sauce as a dip for fries. It is made with mayonnaise, peppers, lemon, and tomato. No wonder why that only 3% Belgians eat fries without a sauce. Now, let me tell you what is the difference between Belgian and French fries. There are four parameters that differentiate Belgian fries from French fries. Firstly, it's a type of cut. Second, frying method. Third, accompaniment or side dish. And fourth, frying medium and after having hot belgian fries we decided to start our trip for the day we headed to the royal galleries of saint hubert do you know which is the chocolate capital of europe it is none other than brussels because there are more than 2000 chocolate shops in brussels The secret behind chocolate quality is the quality of cocoa butter. Manufacturers often add vegetable fats like palm oil, but Belgian chocolate manufacturers use 100% cocoa butter. Hence, Belgian chocolate has reputation of being best quality chocolate in the world. Spotting hanging decor made of chocolate Ferris wheel of chocolate and then finally a fountain of chocolate made Ira very happy. 
द वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट चॉकलेट फैक्ट्री इज लोकेटेड इन बेल्जियम एंड बेल्जियम सप्लाईज ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इंडस्ट्रियल चॉकलेट वी वर ग्लैड टू विटनेस मैग्निफिशेंट आर्किटेक्चर एंड वी गुड फाइंड लॉट ऑफ शॉप्स अराउंड शॉप्स हैड लग्जरी बैग्स ज्वेलरी बेल्जियम चॉकलेट After that, we headed to Groot Market or the Grand Place. It is located in the center of Brussels. Most buildings here were built between 1696 and 1700. Unique architectural buildings, elaborate decorations, and rich stone work carved in the buildings rightly capture the essence of Belgium. It is worth to be seen twice during the day and at night. Let's see if we can come and visit here in the evening. This building that you see in the center is Hotel de Ville or Town Hall. It was built in 1402. Luckily, we could see the royal family waving the masses at the time we reached here. Further, we headed to Mannequin Piss. Mannequin Piss was designed in 1619. It's a sculpture of a small infant pissing in the fountain of water. It denotes the people of Brussels, their sense of humor and their independence of mind. Do you want to eat hot waffles with hot chocolate? On the same street of Mannequin Piss, we spotted this waffle store selling hot waffles. In India when it rains, we are tempted to eat bhajia. While in Belgium when it's cold and it's rainy, people prefer to eat Belgian waffle and along with the waffle they like to top it with cream different chocolate varieties and fresh fruits as we were walking we noticed this godiva chocolate store we could see strawberries coated with belgian chocolate Unfortunately the moment I entered and I asked for the chocolate it was all over they said they required half an hour to replenish the stock We spotted this waffle store selling hot waffles with hot chocolate
From there, we headed to Ronau Street. With light showers and chilling cold winds, we were searching for a cozy, warm place to restrict Ira's movements. Finally, we spotted Primark and we spent three hours there. We came out to see this beautiful Christmas market of Brussels. It is the most popular shopping street in Brussels with international fashion brands. You can enjoy local dishes as there are many cafes and bars after shopping in this bustling area. Day-long sightseeing with a super active toddler was quite exhausting for both of us. So, we did not visit other attractions nearby. Late night view of Grand Palace was surreal. It felt absolutely magical with cozy nativity scenes, atmospheric fairy lights and enchanting attractions for young and old. Because of visiting Brussels in December, fortunately we can see this destination worthy of finest fairy tales. You may feel all Christmas markets are same. They offer same range of items. But there are many local variations across Europe. For example, I saw this candle making shop. How intricately these petals are carved out in wax, right? So, it is true that local arts, art markets and the surrounding architecture makes each German Christmas market unique. Located next to Royal Palace is a place called Brussels Park. You can enjoy, walk and see many small fountains, gorgeous trees and just relax. This park was constructed between 1776 and 1783. This is Brussels' largest park with French gardens. The Royal Palace and Parliament lie in the neighbourhood of this park. Along the way, we spotted Stock Exchange Building. It was founded in Brussels in 1801. Then we saw the Royal Palace of Brussels. It is the official palace of the King and Queen of Belgians in the centre of nation's capital Brussels. Its neoclassical style building dates back to 20th century.
ഒരു വെള്ളം തിരിക്കൂടാ ഒന്ന് മാറി നിൽക്കേ This metro and railway station is located close to many attractions, tourist spots and shops. At the Central Railway Station, we met at 10 pm to start our return journey. It is the second busiest railway station in the whole Belgium. Visit to Brussels is incomplete without Atomium. It offers the most beautiful view of city of Brussels. This iconic sculpture was made in 1958. It looks like an actual iron molecule but magnified 165 million times. After overnight journey we reached Stuttgart airport in morning and then took train to reach Goldberg I hope you enjoyed our vlog about Belgium trip your favorite part in the comment section it's not snow fall it's ice fall literally balls of ice I was glad to witness snowfall as we walked towards our home. If you found the content interesting, please like this video. And yeah, subscribe to our channel marathi manati and anna malayali manali bye bye see you in the next vlog bye